Today's episode is sponsored by Storyblocks. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning back into today's episode where I go out and shoot a day of photography and show you guys the process and journey of it. And in today's episode, as you know from the title, we're gonna be heading out to shoot some portraits. And it's super exciting because the location that I picked out for today's video is some places that I've been wanting to shoot portraits at. And more so because Nisi, the company that produces black mist filters, have sent me these three set of filters for me to use and test out in this video. And I can't wait because a lot of you guys know that I have been using the one fourth black mist filter for a lot of my video work as well as all my portraits and I've been loving it so far and I just wanted to let you guys know that they're not paying me to say anything good bad or otherwise and in return of me using these three set of filters in today's episode they have agreed to give away a set of these three filters to one of you lucky subscribers and so make sure to go down in the comments below to tell me which filter out of these three you like the most and which one you'll be using the most if you get one and yeah, I'll have the details for the giveaway in the description. But other than that, I'm gonna get packing and head out. So I'm gonna see you guys on the field. I just made it to Suitengu Mai Station, which is east of Tokyo. And I'm here at Hakozaki Junction, which you can see behind me. It's one of the biggest intersection in Tokyo. So I thought I'll get some cool leading lines. And since the sun's out, we can get a lot of harsh lighting and a lot of contrast hopefully we can get some cool portraits here just waiting for my friend to arrive but i'm gonna get a can of coffee and just wait till my friend arrives so see you guys later so i just met out with nachi and this is not actually our first time meeting or shooting because we actually try and shoot a neon themed uh portrait video last time but because of the emergency state yeah that's what it is uh, they turned off at like 8 p.m so we couldn't do that we don't know what we're gonna do <laughs> with the other photos we took but despite the rain season we have sunshine today so we got super lucky how do you feel good i'm ready <laughs> we've been waiting for this <laughs> yeah finally yeah we rescheduled like a billion times because yeah. of the weather yeah. but yeah let's get going just made it to Hibiya, the next spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna shoot around this area. Put you guys on POV. We're gonna shoot some streets along Yurakucho and Hibiya. Thank you. 
Hey guys, just wanted to thank Storyblocks for sponsoring today's episode. It's always a challenge for me to create these YouTube videos since I need to remember to take B-rolls, talking headshot for the vlog, as well as POV, all while staying focused on photography. Storyblocks helps me to complete my videos by providing me all the footage that I might have missed on the field. And there's not been a single time where I'd wish that I've shot more or taken a specific video. If you don't know Storyblocks, it's an affordable subscription-based service to download unlimited 4K and HD videos, as well as music, sound effects, and even images from their 1 million plus royalty-free stock assets. It's super easy to use and all I had to do was search for what I was looking for, downloaded the clip, and dragged it into my project. And after that, I color corrected the clips from Storyblocks to match mine, and that's it. Storyblocks has recently announced Restock. Stock's representation of people has been one-dimensional and unvaried for so long. So Storyblocks has taken initiative to change this by expanding contributors to include wide diversity of creators and underrepresented communities to build collections that represents those communities in an authentic light. I think this is a great move in the right direction and it's nice to see that they're focusing on the future of stock. So if you want to go check out Storyblocks, use my link below. But let's get back into the video. Just finished shooting the streets of Yurakucho and Ginza and Hibiya area. How was it? It was good. <laughs> we actually got a lot of photos here. Went to the wrong direction, but that's another story. <laughs> um, we're heading to Shinamachi right now, which is that neon spot um, of the, the blue neons. And then try and get some portraits there. I don't think anyone shot portraits there. So hopefully it works out. Uh, don't know what it's going to be like, but I'll see you guys there. So we have an hour till sunset, but um, the light's still not on over there. So shoot some streets down the station. I think there was a lot of good uh, neighborhood that has a lot of light and cool colors to it. So hopefully I can get something cool there. So we're heading there right now and then coming back to this spot in about 40 minutes. Okay, so we just came back from shooting the streets down over there and the lights turned on. Well, half of it turned on, so they do turn on. Hopefully by sunset, which is in 10 minutes, it's going to turn on fully and we're going to shoot a few photos here and call it a day. Okay, so just finished shooting this spot, the last spot. The lights turned on a bit later than sunset, which is 7. So we we're kind of like doubtful that it's going to actually turn on. But it did, so a successful day. Most places we got a lot of good photos and good condition. Had fun? Yeah, I'm so glad it worked out <laughs> this time. <laughs> this time. Yeah, how many times do we try? I think we rescheduled about four times. Yeah. The rain kept coming in. Are you tired? No, I'm, good. <laughs> I'm hungry. Well, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> so the first episode that we try to shoot, the neon theme, we are not posting it on YouTube, but it's going to be on our stories. So go check her out and make sure you follow her on Instagram because a lot of the photos will be on her channel as well. Or page, page. not a channel. <laughs> I don't do YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the episode and Stay safe, stay curious, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.